And we're back now with Emma Breed, one of the most successful businesswomen in the world as a recurring shark on Shark Tank. <laughs> Emma knows a thing or two about emerging businesses. So we are so excited because we are about to meet two entrepreneurs who are yeah. sharing their businesses with us. And Emma is going to weigh in a little bit of guidance, okay? Oh, yes. All right. So Please. first up, yeah. uh, can we meet Laura Diaz? Laura, come on out. Hi, Laura. Hi, Laura. Oh, L Laura, no, please gorgeous. tell Emma, you yeah. are gorgeous. Yeah. Tell Emma you. about what you're starting yeah. and how she can help. I'm so excited to be here to present my brand, Lady. It's a fashion brand that I created um, that women can wear whether they're pregnant or not. So it's um, versatile and can be worn through a pregnancy and beyond. And the reason I created it was because within my own pregnancies, I was so frustrated that I couldn't find stylish clothing that I could wear. And you know, nine months is such a long time oh, yeah. to not have stylish clothing. Oh, exactly. <laughs> so I ended up creating my own. I am sure there's dresses. so many other women that would benefit from Good. having stylish options during their pregnancies. Wow. Oh, okay, oh. Emma, do you have it's such an age? Yeah, Emma, Tell what's your, your question? Yeah. Okay. So my question is, I started my fashion business on a really small scale, uh, but I've, I've done it with the intention to create a big business like yours and serve lots of women. Yes, you did. <laughs> <laughs> my dilemma has been trying to figure out how to scale in a sustainable way. Yeah. Good. So with a product that's innovative and yeah. kind of a new clothing category, would you say that it's best to create a demand by marketing and then create operations or create systems and then yeah. create good question. such a good what question a great right. question well the problem is and the, and the honest truth is you pretty much have to do it all at once because you're still trying to figure out your demand in these early stages of your business the best advice that I can give you is try to do as things as quickly and as locally as you possibly can mm -hmm. the yes. great news is in America we have such an incredible and vibrant manufacturing base so you can do things really lo locally you can figure out what your demand is and then really Really iterate into that and that's what I would try to do yeah. keep everything as close to you as you possibly can right. so you can see it working thank you that's thank so, you. Thank so, you so much. much all right we appreciate it, it. next Good up luck. let's meet Ozzy Okaro Ozzy come on out hi oh. Ozzy oh, wow I love beautiful oh. Ozzy okay. I need all of these for my babies Ozzy oh. tell us a little oh, bit about yeah. what you created Yes, this is Ikuzi Dolls, and I'm Ozzy, as you know. It's a line of dolls um, called Dolls of Color that come in a range of skin tones Beautiful. and hair textures and yeah. styles. Yeah. Um, growing up, I have, there were no dolls that looked like me, and I wanted to create dolls that looked like my girls. I have two girls, and I wanted dolls that they could relate to and that's identify with. So Beautiful. Oh, representation what, matters. Yes, What's your I question? Love. My question is about brand awareness. I've been in business for a few years now and I really want to know what your advice is for me about building my brand awareness. I do want people to be able to recognize Ikuzi dolls Absolutely. and I'm a small business and so yeah. challenges with funds to Big mark. I don't I have a big totally marketing budget. I totally understand all those challenges. Yeah. And the challenges that all, fa all founders actually face in the beginning. The beautiful is next thing is now that we've got social media. And so it really gives almost like an equal platform for people to get their ideas out. My best advice to you would be don't limit your audience. I think that all parents, regardless of their background, are looking for things like this now. We totally. all want our kids to grow up with diverse toys because representation really does matter. So make sure you're marketing to the biggest possible audience and don't narrow it down. Everybody is looking for products like thank this now. You. Oh. That's such a good point. Good luck oh with gosh, those dolls too. Ozzy. Gorgeous. And we just want to point out one last thing about you, Miss Emma. You are part of a very kind of awesome yes. club that gives back. Tell us the about it. Absolutely. 15% pledge. pledge. Actually, it's a non-profit that is working with businesses all over this country. And essentially what we're asking retailers to do is to put 15% of their buy towards black-owned businesses. Black people make up 15% of the population. And so we're essentially shifting the focus and shifting dollars into the hands of incredibly vibrant black founders Ugh. who need retailers, that need the support. And honestly, it's one of the things that I'm most proud of. Yeah. We've actually shifted over $14 billion of opportunity wow. into the hands of black owned businesses through our pledge taking. That's you amazing. You are incredible. We thank were so, you so happy much. to have all of y'all here. Good luck, you guys. We can't thank wait you. to see thank you. Thank you, Emma. And yeah. we'll be back right after this. Nice job, guys.